protests in Cajamarca, now expanding beyond three provinces that are under state of emergency. It's been nearly nine months since the rejection to the Conga gold and copper mining project turned violent. The protests have been unrelenting, meant to pressure the government to change course on the project. Unable to handle the conflict successfully, the government designated two priests as mediators. The government hasn't lifted the state of emergency. The opposition hasn't stopped the strike. So we are facing a battle between the stubborns. There has to be fairness in our work, because in the end, we are talking about people's lives. But some analysts believe that a mediation may be tough, as the conflict has also become the arena for a political fight. We have three or four different radical groups fighting against themselves for the leadership of the Peruvian protest movement right now. Leaders opposing the Conga project belong to different left-wing parties. In the series of fights over natural resources, hydroelectric dams or infrastructure projects around the country are being influenced by the same political movements. Many analysts believe that the Conga conflict is the greatest challenge for President Ollanta Humala. He's not a seasoned politician, so they say he's learning how to deal with these types of situations as they happen. Humala has angered protesters by giving the Conga project a green light. It's the largest investment in Peru's history, and the government says it will benefit the economy. The bottom line is that the government took sides with the mining company and backed their project. Some analysts say the government should take a neutral position. Umal is facing nearly 200 different conflicts, most in the mining industry. They have left 15 people dead this year. Conga is not important right now in political terms. Yes, but five simultaneous Congas would be very important and would probably create a, a very serious crisis. For now, the mediators have begun by asking all sides in the country for patience. They say a solution for the Conga conflict will take a long time. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.